Hi, I'm Dr. David Atley. In this video, I'll be using the Solar System Configuration Simulator from Nap Labs to explore how planets move along their orbits and how those orbital motions connect to the phenomenon of apparent retrograde motion as observed by a person standing on the Earth. Let's get started. Okay, I've got Nap Labs open. I'm going to start by going to Solar System Models, and then come down here to the Planetary Configurations Simulator. Okay, we've got the Planetary Configuration Simulator open, so let's go ahead and set everything up. I'll start out with planets like Earth and Mars. The Earth, the blue planet up here, is already pre-configured for the right orbit. So let's go ahead and set our second planet for Mars. And then just to back things up a little bit so that we come in um, kind of around the right place once things get started, I'll grab the Earth and pull it around to over, say, about there. And then start the simulation. What you'll notice is that these planets are going to constantly travel along their orbits in the same direction and at approximately the same speed. But gradually, Earth, the blue planet, is going to catch up to Mars and pass it. Uh, you've seen that a couple of times already. When the Earth catches up to and passes Mars, you'll see the behavior of the planet Mars in the sky change down here. Watch that bottom strip as the Earth passes Mars. Did you catch it? Let's back up and watch it again. You'll notice, once I start the uh, simulator again, that Mars, the planet here, is consistently traveling from west to east across the sky. That is, from right to left along that bottom strip there. But, as the Earth catches up to Mars, you see Mars pause, reverse, and then return to its original motion. This reversal of apparent direction on the sky that is apparent retrograde motion. And you'll notice, here it comes again. Okay, there it went. Neither the Earth nor Mars changed direction in their orbits when Mars seems to change direction on the sky. The phenomenon of apparent retrograde motion happens because we as observers are stuck on a moving frame of reference, the Earth. So when the Earth catches up to and passes Mars, our perspective from the Earth past Mars and out to the sky shows some strange behavior causing Mars to appear to be going backwards even though both the Earth and Mars are continuing exactly the same motion in their orbits. We can try this for a different planet. So let's not look at Mars, let's look at Venus. Venus is closer to the Sun than the Earth is. So rather than the Earth catching up to and passing Venus, Venus is going to catch up to and pass the Earth. But when it does, we'll see exactly that same behavior. So as Venus comes around and gradually catches up to the Earth, if you watch Venus across the bottom strip showing where the planet is on the sky, you'll see it pause, go backwards, and then go forwards again in exactly the same way that Mars did. So apparent retrograde motion can occur for planets that are farther from the Sun than the Earth, or for planets that are closer, and it doesn't matter. As long as one planet is catching up to and passing another planet, we on the Earth will observe the phenomenon of apparent retrograde motion. I encourage you to play around with this simulator for yourself, get a sense for why things are happening, maybe slow events down a little bit so you can really focus in on that apparent retrograde motion, play around with different planets if you don't believe me, try with Jupiter or Mercury. You'll see exactly these same effects. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you for my next video.